Hey guys, my name is Ben from Lease Expert, and for 2024, I'm gonna do things a little differently than I've been currently doing. So in the past, I've been going through all the sneaker releases on my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube in a short form content. For 2024 onwards, I'm gonna be recording full on YouTube videos, just covering all the sneaker releases of the week in the perspective of my desktop. So I'll be going over all the sneaker releases instead of a select few, and you'll be seeing it through the lens of my desktop, kind of like NBA desktop style, shout out if you know, you know. And so just to start all off, uh, I'll be going over everything releasing in the first week of January. So let's get started. So going over the releases, um, it was a pretty slow week. I think on even the Nike sneakers app, there weren't any releases. Um, and that's usually where we could start, right? We could, we could look at what's dropping on the Nike sneakers app. Uh, really nothing is dropping until the 9th, which is next week. Um, but we're not here to talk about next week. Let's talk about the first week of January 2024. Now, because it's Chinese New Year, we're going to see a lot of Chinese New Year releases from all these different brands. Uh, New Balance was first to the race. Uh, they're dropping two 1906s. Um, they're supposed to be Lunar New Year inspired, which is actually different. You know, when I think of New Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year, I think of that J green and red. And so kind of, it's a little refreshing to see this pink and off white slash yellow. Um, should be a pretty good shoe. Let's see, I thought that was a third shoe dropping as part of this collection. They dropped on January 1st. Um, just a clean shoe from what I've heard, super comfortable. Uh, that midsole is that same sort of midsole, uh, energy midsole from the New Balance 2002R. So, you know, if you like the design, um, it actually looks pretty good, to be honest. It gives you, you know, that chunky runner look um, with that, you know, comfort that New Balance is really known for. So, yeah, it's a good shoe. Retailing for 175 It's a little pricey, um, but that's how much runners go for nowadays. Um, Air Max Plus 3, uh, super futuristic shoe, in my opinion. It's definitely futuristic for when it came out. Uh, they got that tuned air, so that fine-tuned air to give you that maximum compression. I feel like compared to the tech nowadays, um, this definitely isn't a very comfortable shoe. But back then when these originally dropped, definitely something pretty futuristic in the early 2000s. Uh, nothing too special here. Going up, we have two kind of GR Air Force Ones, Burgundy Crush and Olive Green. Um, nothing special there. Now we have this, the Air Jordan 1 Elevate High. So um, this is a shoe that's a little confusing and I'll explain why. So, you know, this shoe is supposed to make you a little taller, right? With that elevated midsole. Now I feel like the target demographic of people that are looking for to buy this shoe are shorter people. Uh, and this is actually a women's shoe. So shorter ladies out there. Now the problem is it's a high top. And I think with high tops, it makes shorter people, it makes their legs look shorter because you're wearing a high top. So it's just kind of conflicting, like you're taller, yet you'll still look sort of short. Um, I think this shoe is better executed on a low, which they do have the Jordan 1 Elevate lows. Uh, so yeah, this is just definitely a confusing shoe in my opinion. Not sure who they're trying to target or, you know, for the ladies that want to be even taller, uh, this is a perfect shoe. But retailing at 145, clean neutral color. Um, next, Dunk Low GS. Man, dunks have really fallen off. Uh, this grade school dunk kind of reminds me of like the Hulk. So it's definitely a perfect kid's color, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Zuv Mero 5, monochromatic glacier, or they're calling it lake slide, Lakeside Blue. Um, yeah, it's like, it's loud yet also subtle at the same time because it's a pretty, it's, it's loud, but it's, it's pretty, you know, flush and muted in my opinion. So not a bad shoe at all. Let's look at the details. Yeah, it's just one color all around. Must have been super easy for the designers making this shoe. Pick a color, move on. Uh, retail 160, still pretty pricey. And if you haven't tried a pair of Zoom Merrill 5s, super comfortable, highly recommend. It's tech from like the early 2000, 2010s, I believe. Um, but still a comfortable shoe, Cushlon plus Zoom, can't go wrong. Moving on. Now this is an Air Force One LX, so luxury. Um, it's supposed to be kind of more upscale, so 
cord it has that corduroy uh, liner plus tongue. Um, I do like that earth muted tones. It's definitely something that I wouldn't wear personally, but um, something I could appreciate from afar. But it's a great shoe. I think that swoosh is suede or some. It, it's some different like 3D esque material. Um, retail 1.5, so it's not too bad, you know. Definitely gives it that vintage thrift look. I don't know if you understand what that means. Maybe I don't even know what that means. Um, Air Force One, LX. More GS shoes, this hot pink. Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely made for kids. Um, now this GS Dunk Low. Now, if these dropped two years ago, man, these would have been a hot seller. Um, it even has like that slight yellowed midsole to it. It has those Georgetown gray and navy blue colors. Retail night. I didn't realize GS was so much cheaper. So 90 bucks. I guess normal men's and women's is 115. Uh, but it's not too bad, you know. Um, Chinese New Year. See, I, we're just getting a bunch of GS dunks. So I feel like they probably exhausted all the men's, women's GS or men's, women's dunks. Now they're tr trying to target the kids and, and having, and they're having, Nike's having them wear all the dunks by dropping all their colorways. Uh, but taking a look at this, definitely unique, you know, celebrating Chinese New Year and the Year of the Dragon. Um, I don't hate these at all. The embroidery is Velcro swoosh with the dragon accent. There you go. Um, and taking a look, the insole, well, nice details, you know. It looks like a pretty general release dunk just with that, with that Velcro swoosh. Moving on. Samba Dunk, oh, not Samba Dunks, Adidas Sambas and this Olive, more GRs, Eric Humera. Okay, so you know, on the theme of, you know, Chinese New Year, another year of the Dragon Shoe. Now this is the Jaw One, um, Jaw Moran Signature Shoe, of course. Now, I like the details on this shoe. I think this definitely might be the best Chinese New Year shoe we've seen so far, uh, but there's definitely more coming out in the coming weeks. Um, but let's see, so this shoe, I love the accents of gold. Even that insole, you see the Chinese characters plus that Dragon Infinity uh, print, which is pretty nice. Um, even has like that, ooh, get rid of these ads. Um, oh, more zoom out, there you go. Um, yeah, that, that lace accessory, the Golden Dragon. Now I think the only thing with the jaw ones, I've purchased the pair to try on. I never really hooped in them because they're so stiff. It's definitely a shoe you really need to break in. And you know, 2024, 2023 even, I, I'm not, and I'm getting older. I, I feel like now it's kind of expected that brands just make a shoe that you could really just wear immediately. That's something you don't need to break in. I feel like maybe if I was younger or even back then when I was hooping a lot, uh, breaking time was normal, but nowadays there's so many brands that make shoes that just have that instant step in comfort, like the AE ones, uh, even the Harden sevens, just those are immediately comfortable. Uh, for Nike and Jordan, even like the, the Air Jordan 38s are super comfortable right, right out of the box. So I think that's the one thing with the Jaw series that they could be more comfortable. It's my only complaint, but love the design, looks great, even has the dragon scales on the side. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm excited for maybe the Jaw 2. I'm wondering when those are actually dropping. Uh, these are the Jaw 1, you're the Dragon. See, Nike Nike really saw the success of the Panda Dunks. So they were just like, hey, let's start putting it on every single silhouette that we have. Uh, you have your classic Air Max 1, just with the Panda black and white colorway. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with these, honestly. Like if you're sick of the Panda Dunks or Dunks in general, Air Max ones are pretty nice. They're not comfortable per se, but they, you know, they fit true to size. Uh, they get the job. They're they're not uncomfortable, so they're a great shoe. Change up the look. Um, yeah, but this is just your normal '87 normal bubble Air Max ones. Oh, I actually think the material. I wonder if it's leather. Maybe not. But oop, Long Island. No, no, no. Okay. Um, moving on, Jason Tatum, or so the Jordan Tatum one, Acid Wash. I wonder if this is inspired by some sort of jean or, it looks like an army camo. 
um, or sand camo, but doesn't really say what's inspired by. Uh, Tranquility is inside. Okay, yeah, I have no clue what this is. See, this is like essentially saying a bunch of, saying a lot without saying anything at all. Splash of canvas overlays. Okay, yeah. So I guess it's just inspired by art. Ashton wash um, art. Uh, it's pretty clean, honestly. Um, I haven't tried a pair of Tatum ones. I am a Laker fan. I'm from LA. I'm wearing a Rams jersey. Um, so I don't, I definitely don't. I'm a fan of Jason Tatum, just not the team. I just haven't had the chance. This is like definitely low priorities to try on a shoe from a Boston Celtic. Um, but yeah, these, these aren't bad. I, these will definitely hit the sale racks eventually. Um, but it's not a bad colorway for sure. Now this might be the best sneaker of the week. Now these are the Air Zoom Alpha Fly 3s. Now these sold out instantly. I actually went for them uh, the day of the release, which was January 4th. Retails for 285 after tax where I live. Uh, it's about 313. Uh, but these, I believe, go for much more than, than uh, what they retail for. So when you look at it, I got a size eight and a half. They're retailing, they retail for 285, as I said. Resale is about 420, 440. It's not bad. Um, you know, this is a marathon shoe. Whenever Nike drops a, you know, a signature running shoe, they usually drop this colorway. It's called the Pro Type colorway, and um, those usually resell for a, for a lot. So, for example, like these, the next, the next percent threes, I had this exact same colorway. I was able to flip it for, uh, well, around that price, I think it's like three, four hundred. So, um, yeah, just a quick tip if you're looking to make some money off some some Nike running shoes. These are some great shoes. Uh, let's take a look. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely the best shoe of the week in my opinion. Um, yeah, definitely the best shoe of the week in my opinion. This is also the shoe that, that <clears throat> one, two. Definitely the best shoe of the week in my opinion. This is a shoe that is famous because the person that wore this shoe, who's a Nike athlete, his name's Kachobi, a professional marathon runner. He's been running a sub two hour marathon with all the new Nike, you know, alpha and next percent shoes. Uh, and this happens to be one of them. So there's the hype. And then any serious runner definitely wants the best of the best. So this is one of them. Let's move on. We're gonna get some more, you know, GR Air, Air Max ones. Let's we don't need to really talk about those. Now these, these are pretty interesting. This is the Yandel. Um, might be butchering the name, but Yandel. He's a Puerto Rican reggaeton artist, and these are on the Ewing, the Ewing 33s. I sometimes forget these silhouettes, but it's definitely a retro silhouette from the 90s. And if you could tell. Or if you couldn't have, if you didn't know, this is clearly inspired by the Nike Mag, uh, or they call it the Air Mag. But if you look here, there's no signs of you know that nickname Air Mag. Obviously, due to copyright, um, can't really be calling it that. But 100%, this is 100% what an Air Mag looks like. Um, I think it has uh, Andale's logo on the heel. Um, pretty interesting collaboration, honestly. It's something I definitely did not expect to drop. Now, let's see if there should still be available online to purchase. And if you didn't know who Patrick Ewing was or what this brand is, it's um, Ewing is a basketball brand from former basketball player, Hall of Famer Patrick Ewing. He played on the New York Knicks uh, in the 90s. And so, yeah, I'm pretty surprised he's still, he's still releasing new sneakers even after he retired. Uh, but definitely is more of a chunky 90s, early 2000s uh, basketball shoe vibe. And so it looks like the whole collection is still available. I checked earlier, that's why I know. Um, 160 and you could get the whole fit. Um, but yeah, clearly Nike Mag inspired, but they legally can't say that. Otherwise, uh, they would probably have to pay some royalties to Nike from taking that design. But yeah, definitely a very interesting shoe. Uh, was not expecting this something like this to drop this year. Uh, moving on, Alpha Force 88s. Now, 
Alpha Force 88, I honestly haven't seen anyone wear these. Uh, I know Billie Eilish dropped a few collaborations that look like your OG Alpha Force 88s, um, but the hype never caught on. Um, yeah, they, I, there's not much to say. Honestly, it looks like just like a low top air trainer, which it essentially is. Um, I think there's two colorways. Yeah, there's two colorways. This pink one's definitely more interesting. It's like a salmon pink. They're calling it red stardust. It's like this muted pink. This is definitely a pink I would prefer over that gray, um, but it's definitely not a shoe that I'm too interested in. But um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I could admire it from afar, I could say. Uh, moving on. Okay, so the LeBron Next Generations. So this shoe's also pretty weird because this isn't considered the budget line of LeBron sneakers. That would be the LeBron Witness uh, sneaker line. Uh, it's not his main signature line, so it's kind of like a sweet spot in between. Uh, retails for 160 to 170. This one's 170, um, but it's the next generation. It has a lot of the same exact tech as the LeBron 20, um, just with, I believe it's like a smaller zoom bag. Um, and the midsole might be slightly different. Maybe it's not Kushlan, um, and it's just EVA, but this is a pretty crazy colorway. This is a what the theme shoe. Um, and the upper is actually different from your standard LeBron Next Generation. It's not your typical knit. I'm not sure what Nike's calling it nowadays, but it's usually like the synthetic knit. Um, but this upper is actually inspired by the Air Zoom Generation, LeBron's first shoe. Um, and with this particular what the colorway, that upper is this shiny glossy leather or even might even be pan leather. So in terms of breathability, this is not gonna be a very breathable shoe, but it definitely is it looks like a great casual shoe, you know, for any LeBron fan. Um, it has those I promise details and even I think that that crest is the LeBron foundation. Um, I'm sorry, I, I should have done some research on that, but I believe that's part of the LeBron foundation, um, which he has in Akron. But yeah, it's a great shoe, you know, I, I, it's, it's definitely not something I would wear. This is Definitely something that would have been really popular maybe 10 years ago, like early 2010s, like the what the themes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice that LeBron's continuing like that trend of the what does. So yeah, dropping on the fifth. And then Snow Peak New Balance, uh, New Brium. So this is a shoe that's really, really reminiscent or really reminds me of the Tom's, the, <clears throat> This shoe really reminds me of the Tom Sachs uh, Marge Yards overshoe. Um, definitely a space themed shoe, or obviously this, I think this is made for the snow, uh, but it does kind of remind me of that um, the Marge Yards shoe. Um, retails for 300, I feel like, I, I just don't recall exactly how much it is. Let's see, stock X, I can. Uh, Tom Sachs overshoe. Yeah, so it reminds me of the issue right here. Retail, okay, no, I'm completely wrong. The retail is almost 550, close to 600. So, so that retail is half that cost, but you know, this is probably a good snowshoe. Uh, I live in California, so there's not much snow here where I am specifically. Um, yeah, I think we talk more than we need to about this uh, Snow Peak collaboration with New Balance. Uh, moving on, the Air Jordan 1 High Golf Pollen. Now this is a, sh Air they basically just took that Air Jordan 1 that dropped in 2021 and just turned into a golf shoe. Um, nothing too special here. I think they just, with the golf line, they add like the jump man on the tongue. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of Jordan 1s, turn it into a golf shoe. I, I prefer the lows uh, in terms of golf Jordans. Uh, these are great as well. Um, man, so this is also a pretty good shoe. Um, this is also a pretty good release. This is the Nike Cortez Miami Dolphins. Uh, I'm, I'm just a little jealous. I feel like Nike could have, you know, with the playoffs starting, um, Nike should have done this for every team because they have that exclusive contract with, with the NFL. They could have easily, hopefully easily done this with every team. Um, but you know, Miami Dolphins, Got this great colorway, good everyday shoe. Um, and so actually before I knew this shoe was dropping, I had that same exact idea. I actually customized my own 
uh, Cortez based off the shoe I, the, based off the team I root for, the Rams. And this is what it came out to look like. This is from the Nike Bayou or Nike ID program. And this is just based off the Rams colorways uh, or the Rams team colors. Just that royal, yellow, and white. So kind of matches the jersey. Uh, but yeah, I wish, you know, I wish Nike came up with this idea or this concept for all the teams. So, you know, Nike hit me up if you want to use my design. I would love to just get some credit for this. Um, but yeah, great shoe. Um, big fan, big fan. Just a little jealous that I had to, you know, customize my own. Um, but yeah, moving on. This is what I was talking about earlier. So this is, you know, the that next, the, this is the LeBron next generation inspired by the Air Zoom generation with that upper. Um, great shoe. I've already seen some some reviews. It, it, the, the details, um, <clears throat> the details on this shoe really are pretty spot on with the original Air Zoom generation first games, uh, especially with like that color stitch with that date um, and that colorway, even the upper. Uh, it's a great, I, I, this is definitely something I've, um, this is definitely something I'm planning to cop once the prices go down. So uh, if I get a pair, I'll definitely do a review for you guys. But this is up there for, for top sneaker releases of the week. And let's see, we have this Air Max 1. This is just your normal Air Max 1, not the big bubble. A smoky mauve. And this last Cortez that looks like um, the greens of like a golf course. It has like that hairy suede, but it kind of looks like grass. Um, but yeah, these are these are cool, you know? These just look like grass in my opinion, nothing too special. Um, Utah's for 100, shaggy, they're calling it shaggy green suede. Um, but yeah, so I think in terms of sneak releases, there weren't much this week. It was a pretty slow week, but when we look forward to week two of 2022, or of January, uh, we're definitely gonna see more releases. And I'll have a new video out early in the week so everyone could kind of prepare for all the releases coming out. Um, I just wanted to test out this new format. You know, as I said, inspired off of NBA desktop. You know, shout out Jason Concepcion. Um, it's one, one of my favorite shows until it, you know, got, it got discontinued. So I figured I'd kind of bring it back. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this week's releases in the comment section below. Um, yeah, and once again, my name is Ben from Release Expert. I you know, have some background of myself. I work in the sneaker industry um, as my full-time job and I make content on the side. But yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts and I'll be going over all these new sneak releases on a weekly basis. So make sure to follow me on YouTube as well as Instagram, TikTok. I'll do more short form where, if it's, where it's more focused on individual releases. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Thanks for watching.